Welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron and on this channel we talk about all things Ethereum. We talk about projects, NFTs, play to earn, and price. And today I've got a very special video. The community over at Ribbon Finance has asked me to create a very broad view, overview of what's going on over there. All of their products, their, some of their new products that have come out. Um, a lot of you guys may know them from some of my other videos that I've created. They're not just an options vault strategy anymore. Their products are very vast at this point and I want to give you an update at at this point in the game. We're all excited to see what the next bull run is going to look like and getting into projects like this early can have significant effects on your investing. And guys, uh, I will say this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So please uh, take this as an education into what's going on over at Ribbon Finance. So let's jump into my screen, guys. I've got um, Ribbon Finance pulled up here. So as I said before, Ribbon Finance, is a option-based uh, strategy for the most part. Most people know them for their vaults, but they've got a couple other things going on. So you're into options or no traditional options. These are very, very similar in a crypto world uh, rather than a stocks world, right? So a lot of them are ETH related, although they are on three chains, guys. We have the Ethereum chain, the Avalanche chain, and Solana chain. You can connect your MetaMask or I believe you can connect uh, you know, like a Coinbase wallet as well to this protocol through um, this button up here. I've got my MetaMask connected currently. I'm on the Ethereum network. I've got some uh, Lido staked ETH in this vault here. It's been doing well for me. This is a cover call strategy in, sp in particular. Every single week, there's a there's a strike price um, set on early Friday morning, uh, settled in, in UK time. So the behind the scenes system that they're using is an options uh, protocol that's based out of the UK. So these strike prices are set pre-market every Friday morning. So if you were to uh, put in your Ethereum or your USD, you can put those into this protocol. Um, you gotta have them in before the strikes are negotiated on Friday morning. Every single week, the products again, are uh, covered call strategies for ETH um, and uh, Lido Stick ETH. You also have our ETH from, uh, from your wallet there too. You can use Wrap Bitcoin, Aave, and then uh, USDC. This is an older vault here. So check out V1 versus V2. Um, you wanna make sure that you're using the, uh, the V2s of these because they are the current uh, versions of what's going on. So the only put selling one is uh, USDC based and it has the highest yield right now, uh, one cool thing about these options is if they do end up in the money, Ribbon Finance does not take their fee. Um, Earn is another product. Uh, this this one's actually um, lower projected APRs, but the cool thing about Earn is it actually uh, gives you a much safer way to make APY. So um, the big things about Earn is it's principal protected. It's a win-win option strategy. It's double-sided or twin-win that basically creates a scenario where you're gonna win a, a lot higher percentage of the time. And then even on top of that, if you do end up losing the strategy, which doesn't actually cost you anything, there's some built-in interest that is gained. Earn is probably the best place to have USDC um, and, and can be an, a great long-term strategy if you're looking for a lower APY, um, but still a great one over something like a bank account, obviously, um, you're not going to see 15% sustainably anywhere else, guys. I've, I've seen, you know, other protocols, DeFi protocols out there, you know, projecting 15 to 30% APYs, but they're just not sustainable on USDC unless they're Ponzi's, right? Where this one is specifically based around options and because it's principal protected, the twin win strategy is going to make you money and your principal is protected, guys. So one thing that's really cool about all of these specific products that I've talked about already is all of them also give you vault tokens that you can stake. So you're actually earning yield paid out in ribbon tokens by having your assets locked up. So I've actually made somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 ribbon from my uh, modest uh, deposit of roughly two uh, staked Lido ETH there. And I've been in this contract, um, I think I started back in January of this year. So I've made 318 earned ribbon from staking Lido staked ETH in this specific vault. I've taken the Arsteth Theta liquidity token. I've staked that. I've boosted that by 
uh, staking some ribbon that I had in my Coinbase account. I ran it over here through MetaMask, um, staked it for two years because I know at least it's going to be at least two years before the bull market's on, so I don't mind locking that up for a while. And it actually boosted my APYs inside of the staking platform by 0.26%. Now I'm getting 5% on top of the uh, projected APYs in the, the vaults that holds my Lido staked ETH. So um, pretty cool. It just means the longer you're in it, the more you're gonna get. Now, if you are staking the liquidity token, you can't take your assets out of the vault. You do have to have them in there. You have to um, unstake your liquidity token before you can take your assets out of the vault. But that's um, really simple to do and actually since um, the bull market and the uh, the fees for using ethereum are much lower than they were during the bull market um, now's a great time to get into this guys i highly recommend um, jumping into these things if you have uh, if you think it's a great strategy for you and again this is not financial advice but this is what i'm doing guys one of their newer products that has been uh, created in the last year has been this lens product which is pretty cool um, this is another usdc specific decentralized applica application where you are going to um, open the app here and then you're going to deposit um, USDC, you can like lend it to one of these uh, market makers. So there's two available right now. The only one that has some room to give you some APR right now is uh, the Wintermute and it is insured guys. Wintermute takes your money um, and is using it like a bank. It's like putting your USDC in a bank, but they're instead of giving a measly, you know, 0.25% uh, in your bank, you're actually getting a, uh, a 9.7 APR currently on the Wintermute vaults. And I've seen these um, higher, I've seen them lower, but generally you're looking at a 10%, you know, yields on this specific uh, protocol. The Earn protocol is currently better. Um, but uh, depending on your strategies, you can choose whether you want to do earn or the lend protocol. So, you know, lend might be a better choice. When the bull market comes back, you might see a higher APR when more people are wanting to utilize liquidity and the, the market is on fire and there's a lot more going on. But right now things are a little bit lower and, you know, you're, you're seeing a little bit lower APRs on lending than you are in the earn. Um, but that could change uh, as soon as the market heats up again. The cool thing about Lend is that there isn't any uh, lockup period where there is in other lending uh, platforms. And this is one thing that differentiates uh, Ribbon's Lend program uh, versus others in the space. Now, um, one thing I wanted to mention specifically about the, uh, the covered calls and put selling strategies, that's an, another product that Ribbon Finance does have available to, uh, to DAOs in particular is a, is a treasury option. So these are private Ribbon Theta Vaults, very similar to the ETH Vault, but they're specific to a, uh, a DAO. So if a DAO, like say uh, Axie Infinity for one, um, since we talk about Axie Infinity a lot on the channel, if they wanted to create an option strategy ba based on the AXS token, they could do that through uh, Ribbon Finance. It would be private to their users or private to the DAO, however they wanted to set it up. The DAO itself would set the strike prices for the, the uh, options contracts. And as long as they expire out of the money, the, uh, the DAO would uh, collect the premiums paid and that would be a way to uh, possibly grow your DAO and is available as an option um, for DAOs, which is really cool. Um, that's not something you're gonna see on the front page, but if you do a little digging, you will find that that's possible for DAOs. Um, lots, of, lots of incentive to be a part of this, guys. Lots of great APYs based on something you're probably holding already, right? So what drew me to uh, Lido in particular was the fact that I could stake an asset and get some yield on that asset while I was holding on to it because I'm I'm a hodler, guys. I'm a I'm a long-term investor. Um, I do some trading, but for the most part, I'm stacking that ETH right now. I keep buying more ETH every month, especially at these low prices. I'm pretty pretty stoked to see what we will get in the future. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, and this is this is going to be new for. Uh, Q4 
2022 is a new protocol called Evo. It's Ribbon's proprietary order book. Guys, so uh, Ribbon is going to create their own exchange uh, specifically for options contracts. So I'm super stoked about this because currently in the uh, the put selling and cover call strategies, there's no way to roll over an option that is currently in the money. So um, just like in the traditional stock market, we're going to be able soon to roll over are in the money contracts and be able to do some stop losses, take profit sooner. I'm super stoked for Ribbon in particular to have their own exchange because I do think that will bring more people from the outside into Ribbon because right now it's actually super hard for you know retail investors in particular to get into option strategies and that's why Ribbon was made in the first place to get more retail um, availability for options contracts within crypto especially in Ethereum and these sorts of things, but I'm super excited to see the ability to use the exchange, the deep order books um, that will be created through this protocol. They're gonna be EVM rollups. So the cool thing is you're not gonna be charged your your standard Y fees for a contract. They're gonna be roll-up based. So the fees should be relatively small in, in comparison to an actual Ethereum transaction. The last thing, about Evo that I want to make sure I mention is there's going to be a margin capability. So typically, you know, sophisticated options traders are used to having the ability to use margin on top of their assets to, to compound those gains, right, in a shorter period of time. Rather than just weekly strategies, there's going to be monthly strategies, long-term strategies. There's so much more you can do with options that what's, than what's currently available on, on Ribbon Finance, and I'm excited to see what Evo brings to that. I can't wait to see what, uh, when they're going to launch that at Ribbon Finance. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you for sticking with this high-level overview of all things ribbon and please uh, like and subscribe if you like this content. I do a lot of videos uh, like this on my channel. I've got two other ribbon specific videos already created. One goes into how the projected yields are created in each one of these vault contracts and then there are another one is just the basics of how you connect your wallet and how to make sure that you can um, use your liquidity tokens to get some of those rewards on top of the uh, the yield you're, that you're getting in the vault. So if you wanna check those out, they all, will be linked below this video um, when it's published. So thanks so much for watching again and God bless.